since I've been making so many watch faces for my Galaxy Watch 4 using Watchmaker, Watchmaker, I thought I'd make a little video on how to actually use Watchmaker to make some of these faces. So this is the program. I got the Pro version, which is like another five bucks. It's not much. It's definitely worth getting. Now they sell tons of watches on here for people who don't feel inclined to actually make their own. But that is no fun at all and kind of a waste of money, especially when it's so easy to make your own watches. As you can see right here, I've made quite a few of them. And most of them are based off a very simple setup. So the first thing you want to do is get into the program, start a new watch. Go to the edit button, tap on the plus button, and then add an animated GIF. This is the background that will make the whole watch pop. And it's super easy. Any animated GIFs you have could theoretically be used. It's best to shrink them down first using some other tools. But as you can see, it's super easy to add a layer for the animated GIF. And then you have an animation in the background of your watch. Then you just add some watch elements. Now if you like the old school analog, you can add an hour, second, and let's see, and hour, second, minute hand. Oh, that one doesn't work. Oh, there we go. There. Now you have a basic watch up and running. But of course, basic watch, basic watch. Who wants one of those? Boring. So, hold, long, pause down so you can get to the layers. You just tap on one of these and then hold your finger on top of it. And you can remove the layers that you don't want. Now let's say, hey, let's go work on a new one. The first thing I need to do, go to my main menu and do a search on Google for do -do -do, animated GIF. Go to the image tab. And here you'll find tons of animated GIFs. Well, let's find one that would be good for a watch. Something that's repetitive, that always loops perfectly. So it'll blend in the background. Something with a solid background would work best, unless you want it to fill the entire watch face. But let's just go with old Homer here. Now when you long press on one of these images, you should get a menu to download the image. And that'll stash it somewhere on your phone. So let's zip back to the old watchmaker, add a new layer. Come on, new layer time. Animated GIF, go into my picture section where my files are being downloaded, grab old Homie, and there he is. Homie is now running around on your watch. Of course, Homie by himself is just darling character, but not really that useful if you want to, like, you know, tell time. So let's actually add time. Now there's a whole bunch of features here for adding text. The basic, of course, is just text. Now, it doesn't matter what you write in here, because you're going to erase it in a minute. But here is your layer, and this layer will be turned into a watch face, or um, basic clock. So, we'll go down in here and pick one of these. These are uh, shortcut menus. You can actually type in any of these commands on the right or on the left side, if you memorize them verbatim. I don't, and I have very short memory. So, I just go to the shortcuts and select one. In this case, I'm going to select the one that says hour in days, 1 through 12, because military time is not my jam. Let's see. Go back up to the top, tap in there, see so at the keyboard again. I'm going to add a little colon, because the hour by itself is kind of drab. Then we're going to go down this list and find minutes in hour with leading zero. If you don't put with leading zero, and the time is, say, 12.05, It'll just say 12 and the number 5 all by itself, which is bizarre looking. So don't do that. Always get minute in hour with leading zero. And there we go. We have the time. Now you can drag this around or to fine tune controls down here at the XY position. There's an animation button for adding in different animated effects. I think these happen when you turn the watch on. I never use them. But they're cute. They're there. 
like I said, they're only supposed to appear once. You can make them appear on a loop, but then it makes the time really hard to read. And they only appear once, so you don't really get a lot of bang out of it, so I just don't use the animation tab at all. Ugh, I gotta turn this back off again. None! No animation tab! No animation for you! Well, actually, I'm gonna put animation onto it. I'm just not gonna do it that way. Gyro effect allows you to uh, use the accelerometer and move it around. Here I'm moving my phone back and forth. Probably tell from the rough, rustling sound. It's probably disrupting the microphone. This is neat. It has limited uses, but it's interesting in and of itself. Fonts. This is the most important part here. And as you can see, there are a lot of fonts you can use. All sorts of crazy ones. Here's army font. Let's expand the size of that text. Give it a color that I can actually see against Homer's vivid background. <laughs> Bright red. Now we have a basic watch. But the Galaxy Watch 4 that I'm using... And this works with some other watches. All those watches have tons of other data you can get besides just the boring old time. So let's add another text layer. <clears throat> Again, it doesn't matter what you call it when you start out. Because we're going to go down into quick layer. And this time I think we're going to set up the, the date. Actually, you know what? While this does work... Ooh, Friday... Let's delete this and show a better way of adding dates. Since the dates are such long things, they occupy big wide areas, it's best to sort of wrap them around the display. And that's where curved watch text comes into. Let's see. You can see how it curves it so it fits around the, or around the round frame. So we can have complicated data, like say, Friday, comma, uh, December, space, the 24th. Merry Christmas. There, and you see? All of that information, which would be filling the screen from one end to the other, now fits neatly around the bezel. So Homer is now dancing around with accurate time and the date. We'll just move this around a little more. But let's add some more information. Something interesting. Because basic time and date, well, that any old watch can give you. But can any old watch give you your heart rate? Adding another layer. And into this layer, we're going to go down to the health tab. And here you can see steps that have run, or steps that you've moved. You can see distance that you traveled, calories burned, but the one I really like, heart rate. There, this is how many beats per second. In theory, my heart would be beating if it was measuring my heart at the moment. Now for an additional fun, you can actually put a little heart symbol on there by adding another text layer, put in a capital O or capital P. See? Doesn't look like a heart, though, does it? Oh, darn. What will I ever do? That's right. I'll go into the font section, find the wingdings, which is uh, this mess of text you see right under Army Condensed, tap that, and all of a sudden, we have a heart. We can even color the heart red the same way you color any piece of text and make that heart as big or as small as you would like. So, I'll put a nice little heart here. Now you'll notice that the heart is obscuring the heartbeat per second. Now this is where you actually can start shuffling the layers. Tap on the layer that you want to move, hold your finger on top of it, let your finger up, then go back, tap again, and hold again, and you can drag the layers back and forth. See? Now I have heartbeat. Get off of there. Do, do, do. Heartbeat per second. We'll just move that up. 
And then we'll increase the size of this. And then you've got a nice little heart display. Cute, huh? Now Homer is dancing in a field with time, date, and heart rate. But you know what? Let's add the local weather, which is pulled down through your phone over the cellular connection. So it'll always be accurate to your area based on wherever they measure the weather out. So we go to weather symbols, which is right between star crawl and progress bar. They have so many things here to play with. But I'm only show you a couple of basic ones I like. And these are the different sets of images you can have. This is a nice shiny one. And this, of course, is the local weather right now for me, which is partially cloudy with a little bit of sunshine. Let's scale this down. Put it over here on the other side of Homie. So now you have an idea of what kind of uh, weather there is outside. And let's add another text layer. Do, 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 do. Junk characters. Change those junk characters over to go down to weather tab and find current temperature. And now homie is dancing in the field with time, with date, with your heart rate and the current temperature outside, as well as the condition the current weather condition under it represented as an icon. This is a full featured clock now. And that was really easy to do, right? Anybody can pull this off. It is super simple. There is information here for the amount of battery that's on the phone, the amount of battery that's on the watch, the condition of the battery, the temperature of the battery, various system information. I don't know why anybody would want this, but you can totally get it. Free disk space. What's your phone's up to? Let's see. Calendar, health, the various sensors, the magnetic sensor, accelerometer. A lot of these produce mathematical numbers that can then be used to adjust the position of other stuff. Like, let's say we have the time right here. What if I wanted the time to bob up and down? I would go to X, Y position for, or go to the X position for the time, oh, Y position for the time, pull down information here, and let's say, let's say I grab the milliseconds. Ooh, that's under time, okay. We'll go down to time, milliseconds. <laughs> this is going to do some crazy stuff. <laughs> you see, I've used the clock, or I've used the watch's counting of its own milliseconds to move the time around. Boy, that looks insane. But you can do really fun, neat things with that. Let's set that back to zero. I don't even know where it went. So there are some amazing things you can do with Watchmaker if you want to mess around with it some. But let me show you what this watch looks like actually on the watch. So we'll go over to Exit, and we go to this green button with the picture of the watch. You'll see it next to the word Untitled. And I'm going to send that over to my watch and switch over to the regular camera. So give me a second. And I'm back again, and here we are. This is the watch I just created, as seen, you know, earlier, running on the, uh, the Galaxy Watch 4. Now, it's, gonna, it's not going to run as fix, or it's not going to run as perfectly as it does on the cell phone screen because your, your uh, smartphone probably has a lot more processing power than the watch has. So there's going to be some level of jank you might want to expect. It's not going to be as smooth. So you don't want to pack too many elements on there. It'll slow down to a crawl. And you know, don't, don't go overboard on the phone and expect your watch to be able to pull off the same thing. But as you can see, it can get pretty close. And this is a nice, very functional watch right now. Useful at a glance for all kinds of useful information. All right. Thus ends my tutorial of watch. <laughs> Thus ends my tutorial of Homie and the Watchmaker Pro. Ah.